Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So the next topic will be scheduling reports and alerts. So in this video, I'll be covering scheduling the reports. So before we start, uh, just we want to know why why uh, we schedule report. So scheduling reports are useful for monthly, weekly, daily executive managerial role up reports so so by doing scheduling report so so uh, management or or uh, uh, for upper level they can they can uh, see the reports how uh, their business is performing how a particular uh, flow is behaving so the next point can be a da dashboard performance so by scheduling a report we can increase the performance of a dashboard the, and the next one uh, can be the automating automatically sending reports via email so when you uh, schedule a dashboard so you can create uh, send a report automatically to someone's inbox so th these are the few uh, benefit uh, of scheduling the reports so uh, how can we uh, how can we create a scheduler uh, for the report so this is the uh, search bar so you need to type write uh, some query over here I have already written a query so this will be like a query and also as uh, similar to my previous to previous video I have uh, uh, mentioned that how can we create a report so here uh, we can give a name so it can be a IT report underscore AMP record AMP recorder here I am putting this is this can be the description can be done right? so if you do not want to the, so so the that uh, time picker can be a scheduler uh, uh, it will pick a scheduler report so uh, once you do that it will ask for uh, several options permission schedule acceleration and em embed so here you can schedule your report like click over here Once you do that, you need to click whether you want to sh schedule. Yes. Once you schedule it, different option will come. How often you want to schedule? So weekly, every hour, every day, every month, every week, every month or cron job. So for cron job, you need to you need to know how the cron job works. So so currently I am putting early now the second win time time range how far the data you want to fetch you want the data for last 15 minutes 60 60 minutes or uh, four hours or so on or for all it's uh, not a good practice to uh, select for all because it will impact your performance the search will not get completed if it's uh, uh, the huge data will be there and relative uh, time you can put it there are different advanced time range is also there so this is how you can select the time range so I will select the time range as weekly and uh, if you if you uh, say it weekly it will ask on which day the report will run and what time so currently I am keeping it as it is okay so by this as I already explained it you need to select the time range and priority what can be the priority of it high, high priority or, or highest priority or by default it can come window schedule window if you want to put put a schedule window you can do that as well so 
schedule window is nothing but a report run for for uh, for that particular window whenever the multiple reports are there the report will run for that particular window this will help when whenever the multiple reports are there and and that those are queuing up so it will give you a relaxation of uh, of th that window in that this particular window the report should work uh, it should run okay so the definition of it can be a schedule window this settings determines a time frame to run the report if there is, there is other report scheduled to run at the same time you can provide a window in which to run the report this setting provide efficiency to schedule several reports on run so this is the benefit of it so once you select all this this options once you checked all this option there is uh, also have option of triggering an, an alert so there are multiple options as a log event output result to lookup output result to uh, telemetry endpoints run script send email webhook these are by default comes with the uh, Splunk version so event uh, log event creates an index searchable log events so if you want to uh, put the uh, the event of that in in the in the index so you can do that output result to outlook send result to uh, result of uh, of search to csv lookup files so through that you can do that uh, output result to telemetry endpoints send you send usage matrix back to splunk if your company has opted in the uh, program so you can send uh, the output to splunk back okay run a script you can run a script over here send any email and webhook you can send through webhook you can send a data to url send data to url through that now we are going to choose option of sending email so through that you can send an email here you need to give email address so john at the web gmail com so it can show you uh, cc and bcc as well here you want to uh, if you want to give a priority of him a uh, report you can give it now if you want to use uh, uh, any any field from your output so you can give uh, enclose in between these signs dollar signs and uh, otherwise you can just uh, tell employee record now message uh, message uh, again if you want to put uh, field in the message so you need to enclose in between these signs and uh, write whatever you you want to write over here also there are multiple options are there you uh, if you want you can uh, if you want you can uh, link to a report it will come with the message link to report link to result result string it will show the result string in line table or if you want to attach any this result as a csv or pdf you can do that so once you save it uh, let's verify everything everything is fine so once you save it you can see you can see the alert will run for Monday this time and for 24 hours. Currently, the uh, it is not it has not run, so there is no result over here. Okay, and how can you see this? So you have to go to first of all, and second you have to go to report, search for this report. So see, you can see it over here. The report is uh, the next run is for this time. Okay, and other things.
is uh, private public you can see it here and edit option through that there are multiple edit op option as i i uh, mentioned in my report video with report these options you can see with report as well as, well as with the schedule one so description you can change the description you can uh, assign a permission uh, assign a, a, a to app or uh, to uh, in between app in this app to all the users or you can share share among between the apps so this is how you can edit it so there are few more options are there accelerate and clone cloning this report or embed once you click on embed it will show you how how this directly you can embed in any of the of the things or or html base this these are html base you can copy and uh, uh, use it anywhere okay so this is all about uh, scheduling report so once you schedule it it will uh, uh, run for this time and you will get the email on email notification in your mailbox whatever options you have chosen if you have chosen uh, the report should go in csv format or or pdf format it will uh, you will get the report in in that particular format so that's it for uh, now thanks for watching video